everybody loves to save a buck or two, and Mike Brookbank takes us to the largest location in Ohio to do just that around town. Flip through the channels on your TV, and there's no shortage of shows featuring flea market finds. Someone's, you know, junk is another man's treasure. If that's the case, there's no shortage of treasure at Jamie's Flea Market in Amherst. Antique, junk, and you name it, we have it. The year-round flea market has been a thrifty shopper's paradise for nearly 40 years. We are still a very traditional flea market, which there aren't very many around. Most markets have gone to new merchandise. With 200 vendors inside and 500 outside, how do you find what you want in an endless supply of stuff? Get chummy with the vendors. There are certain people here I know, and I know that they have the things I want. Jan Davis is a regular at Jamie's. Topping her flea market success list, be sure to bargain. We dig her, but I get it in the end. <laughs> the Trash to Treasure movement is not only driven by a variety of TV shows, it continues to get a boost from the sagging economy. Vendor Roberta Bonica says her customers are more creative than ever when it comes to saving cash. I see people reusing and repurposing many things. That means dingy items once glanced over are now getting a second look. They're now willing to do that elbow grease and turn it into a treasure. Jamie's is open Wednesdays and Saturdays year-round from 8 to 4. It's a big birthday for the Greater Cleveland Aquarium, and we celebrate by the numbers. In its first year, the aquarium served nearly 7,000 pounds of frozen fish food and made nearly a half million gallons of salt water. The staff spent more than 1,300 hours underwater and welcomed more than 400,000 guests. Happy first birthday. For The List, I'm Mike Brookbank.